Huge win for the Bucks last night. Shout out to the Dwayner as they went into the Oracle and dominated the Warriors, leading the final 34 minutes on the way to a blowout victory. Four starters were in double digits, and Pat Connaughton chipped in 15 off the bench in Milwaukee's best win of the season. Guys, fill in the blank. The biggest takeaway from the Bucks win is blank. Ooh, you go Unstoppable Giannis. Giannis. Yes, uh, he had seven field goals last night, all of them in the paint. And now Draymond Green wasn't there. Okay, but Giannis has actually mastered the way, the art of going inside, using his shoulder without getting an offensive foul and creating space for himself. And uh, he just took full advantage last night because the Bucks, who we know are an improved three-point shooting team, had a bad three-point shooting night. Instead, they just went inside and cashed in their chips there. Very smart play by Budenholzer, and Giannis was just unstoppable. Yeah, yeah I want to focus on Giannis, too, and, and that's why I've got a little little map out here. We've got the rest of the Bucks outside the three-point line. There we go, yep. coach! And Giannis at the rim, because he doesn't fit into this new three-point style that the Bucks have. He is shooting a paltry 9% from three-point yeah. line. Yeah. So, so he's hanging out at the rim. So how how is this happening? How are they still able to win games with him shooting 9% for three and that being their whole new style. Well, he's getting easy shots in the bucket because they're spread out. And he's shooting a heck of a lot more shots at the rim yeah. than he did last year. His points per game, actually a little bit lower this year, which is surprising in that they have this incredible record. But shooting 12% 12 more, 12 more of his shots at the rim because they're easier, because they're spread out, because they've got a style. And then on the defensive end, that style is translating. I think they're all just sort of into the offense. They're moving. And it's happening on the defensive end. Another guy who attacked last night, though, Eric Bledsoe. Mm -hmm. And that is who I'm going with. The Greek freak, is he's amazing. He's going to maybe win MVP. But Eric Bledsoe, this may have been the best game we've seen him play in a Bucs uniform. Offensively paired with how he played defensively on Steph Curry before the injury. I mean, he was really all over Curry. Curry had 10 points on 5 of 14 shooting. Do the math there. Think that. Think about that for a second. That's no threes for Steph Curry. Yeah. That's a great job from Bledsoe and the Bucks and the entire defense. But Bledsoe had 26 points and he was attacking, going inside as much as he could. And he, he, uh, this is this is obviously great for the Bucks. This is a bit of a statement win. Mm -hmm. I know no Draymond. Still. Steph gets hurt. The MRI. He's yeah. going to miss a game. It's not nothing too serious, luckily. But that's still a good, good quality win here from the Bucks. And they're well ahead when Steph was in the game. Yeah, right. So they, they, there's no excuse for no, that part. They, they, yeah, they basically blew the Warriors out, which, yeah. is, which is very impressive. Uh, on their own floor.